Good evening, sir. Just to confirm, uh, 16.30 ETA at uh, Bunker Station. Pilot. Yeah, good day to you, sir. At 12.30 we completed Bunker operation and Bunker batch left. And now, in 2-3 minutes, I will start to fill up anchor. Come on, sir. Pilot radio. Come on, pilot radio. Almost, sir. But we have been there long time before. Yes, sir. I'm going to be at anchor. On point, uh, well, I've always wanted to be a pilot from the age of about uh, six or seven. I, I live very close to where we are now on the quayside. Uh, my father was a, a tug master with the local tugs, and uh, I always wanted to be a pilot. I thought that's the job for me. I've always liked the water. Um, since a kid, we've been sailing and going out on different boats, and then. Um, you know, it was just a natural progression and to become a pilot was sort of the, the ultimate sort of pinnacle of my career. Whenever you say you're a pilot, the first thing they think you fly helicopters or fixed wing aircraft, but uh, I don't really find it frustrating. Um, I, I try and tell people what we do. A lot of people seem to think that you sit on the pilot boat all the time and guide ships in and out of port. We, we tell them that you climb ladders, bring the ship in. It's just um, an ignorance of what we do and it's not their fault. You know, I was always good at school at looking out the windows and this job is essentially you have to look out the window. So, you know, that was another reason why I thought, well, I'm, you know, I had a good training at school. careful, weigh up all the risks when you're jumping off the pilot boat onto a ladder. It, it can be awkward at times. The first couple of times I went up the ladder, I was astonished about how difficult it was to climb somewhere. When they're very long, they seem to come away from the ship and, um, and you've just got to go up sort of one, one step at a time. The job of a pilot anywhere is to safely uh, conduct a ship into and out of port. It involves handling vessels of all sorts, from cruise liners to the largest tankers in the world, right down to small passenger ferries and uh, small coastal tankers and sometimes even yachts. Well, essentially the captain's always in charge of his own ship, um, but, but the terminology is, is that the pilot has the, the conduct of the vessel, which means that he, he is responsible the safe navigation of the vessel. Well, I was 60 about a month or so ago. I don't know how much longer I'll do it. Maybe a year, maybe two years, but uh, then I'll finish. No, I think it is important when you get older to uh, have time out for yourself later on. And, uh, at the moment I don't want to stop, but a day will come when I have to stop and uh, I'm not looking forward to that. It's a big lifestyle commitment. Half of your life, whether it's day, night, Christmas day, Boxing day, Easter, you are on call. So, um, so it is a way of life as much as a job. I'd hate to have a normal nine to five job. I love working all hours that God sent. After the three months training period, I, I do an exam which is next week, which is an oral and a written exam, and uh, pending the result, I will become a Falmouth Marine pilot. When this job came up, I was, I was delighted. Best day of my life when I got the job.